Sunday was a sad day in sports when the world found out that Kobe was killed in a helicopter crash. In today's show on NFL Daily on Chat Sports, we're going to show how the NFL reacted to the heartbreaking news that Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna, and seven other passengers were killed in this crash Sunday morning in California. News of Bryant's death shocked the NFL, which, you know, is filled with players who grew up watching and idolizing Bryant as he went on to win five championships with the Lakers, heck, scored 81 points in a single game. Now, the Mamba mentality is one of those things that I think can inspire a lot of athletes, and heck, it even inspired me, and if it inspired you, please be in the comment section. But Kobe was truly one of a kind. So when I went on Twitter, when I went on Instagram, when I went on social media, it did not surprise me whatsoever to see some of these NFL stars that, heck, that we cover here at Chat Sports all the time, idolizing over Kobe Bryant. Now, I do want to take a 24-second moment of silence for the nine confirmed deaths in the crash. So if everyone could please join me, we're going to take a 24-second moment of silence. Appreciate that. Again, here are the nine confirmed deaths in the uh, fatal helicopter crash with Kobe Bryant, Gianna. Now, every single person that's watching Chat Sports, we are a very interactive channel. And I think when moments like this, you really get this whole family atmosphere where we can come together. Now, I want every single person that watches this video to type RIP to pay the respect to Kobe, Gigi, and all that were involved in this tragedy. Now, I remember when this news broke here at Chat Sports, and this was one of those moments where you just kind of dropped everything that you were doing, and you just couldn't even believe what actually happened. So every single person watching this video, I want you to type RIP in the comments to pay your respect to Kobe, Gigi, and all that were involved. Now what started as just another Pro Bowl quickly turned into a tribute to you know Kobe Bryant. And before the Pro Bowl on Sunday, I thought it was pretty interesting. This popped up on the uh, the Jumbotron at the Pro Bowl. And one of the things that I saw that was probably the most intriguing was the player who was supposed to start for the NFC, Russell Wilson, he ended up leading a prayer, okay? And then this just went on. The entire Pro Bowl players just kind of giving their tribute to Kobe Bryant. I mean, heck, this is what Lamar Jackson had to say about Kobe's, you know, death. Everybody in our locker room was hurting. Some of these guys don't know Kobe at all, but he's in our hearts. He did something for game it's hurtful seeing something like that it was devastating like this has got to be fake and I mean Lamar Jackson had the idea and basically a bunch of us had it had to be fake you almost couldn't even believe it now I did see this picture and I do think that Kobe Bryant's legacy should be celebrated so I do like this picture a lot and then if you guys haven't seen it so Green Bay linebackers are Darius Smith and uh, he basically sacked Lamar Jackson and you can see the entire defense here they're celebrating, they're doing a Kobe fadeaway. And again, anytime that there is tragic news, it hurts. But Kobe Bryant would want us to celebrate his legacy, and I think that we should celebrate his legacy. So seeing a picture like this, it warms my heart greatly. Now this is what Zardarius Smith had to say on the sack celebration. It was a tribute to Kobe and his family. That's what we're gonna do. Two steps, then a fadeaway for him. For everyone to participate as a team, I just hope that touched a lot of people in a special way. I also want to show this picture here of Calais Campbell. He's taking a knee uh, for Kobe Bryant. He's also there with Baltimore Ravens, Matt Judon, taking a knee before the game or during the two-minute warning when everyone found it out. The really interesting part about this is the crowd then started to chant Kobe when the moment of silence was over when everyone found out about the tragic news. So again, I want every single person who watches this video to type Kobe. Chant his name, chant the star's name. He absolutely deserves it. I'll do it right now too. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. So here's Calais Campbell's quote on Kobe Bryant. Kobe was one of my heroes. He's a big inspiration to me. And the few times I got to meet him, I was super encouraged when I left. Honestly, when we went into the locker room, our mentality was embrace every moment because every moment is precious. You don't know if you're gonna get another one. 
Here's the second part of Calais Campbell's quote. This is Kobe Bryant, his legacy. Millions are affected by him. Everybody who plays sports, we have respect for the great Kobe Bryant. It was just devastating for all of us. We definitely all wanted to pay tribute and homage to him because he is the epitome of what an athlete is supposed to be. And I totally agree. Again, for any athlete that's out there, you have the Mamba mentality that you're going to outwork every single person that you have and you don't take any days off. That's what Kobe Bryant was. And when that fourth quarter rolled around, when everyone else was a little bit worried, that's when he shined the most. And that's what every athlete aspires to be. So, Glaze Campbell, I like the name. Now, Devontae Adams, he scored a touchdown. He also paid homage to Kobe Bryant, and he threw up his 2-4 after scoring a touchdown. Again, you're just seeing more and more moments throughout that entire Pro Bowl, a game where, to be honest, the Pro Bowl normally to me is kind of boring, but I know a lot of people started watching it because of the sole fact of all these players were just paying respect to Kobe Bryant, a player who has never been, obviously, in the NFL, but it just goes to show that how, much, how many people he's impacted. So here's what Pete Carroll had to say also that I guess to his um, players, to his me message to his players, go play and go play hard because if Kobe was here, that's what he would do. If he was here, that is something that he would do. Like if something happened to somebody else, he would go out there and play and leave it all on the field. And that's what Kobe did. I mean, if anybody watched Kobe during All-Star games, he never stopped. He was trying to score 100 points, 81 points, every time he did an All-Star game. Heck, every time he went on the court, regular season, postseason, he had the threat to drop 60. And that's what was the Mamba mentality. Absolutely incredible. So what was your favorite Kobe memory? Comment it, okay? When I think of my best Kobe memories, I mean, you obviously have to say his last game. Again, it, it's there's a few times in sports when you go back and you think like, okay, Derek Jeter's 3,000th hit. Kobe Bryant's last game when he dropped 81 and I think even one of my favorite memories of Kobe Bryant was the Matt Barnes pump fake where he just stood there and like didn't flinch because he's Kobe Bryant he was like Matt Barnes come on man so throw it in the comment section what's your favorite Kobe moment now a lot of NFL stars they also took to Twitter which you know I think is pretty crazy and Tom Brady you know he's like we miss you already Kobe and I think if I'm Tom Brady I'm thinking man Kobe Bryant passed away at 41 I'm 42 years old. He knows that he's leaving behind a wife, kids. It's pretty, uh, you know, probably pretty surreal for Tom. Carson Wentz, quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles. He also had this to say, a legend is gone too soon, and I totally agree. You also got to remember that Kobe Bryant, you know, he went to Lower Marion High School in Philly. Carson Wentz, obviously now the quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles. J.J. Watt, can't be true, just can't be truly, truly horrific. You want to talk about a player that's done a lot for his community, it's J.J. Watt. And also, you can look at J.J. Watt and say, man, Kobe Bryant also did so much for his community and so much off the court as well. Richard Sherman, just don't have the words. If there is one way to just prove how impactful this is, Richard Sherman, a player that likes to talk more than anybody. Loss of words. But another player who has a mama mentality, it's Richard Sherman. Michael Thomas, damn, not Kobe. I think when this news broke, Michael Thomas, and then here's another perfect example of that, Le'Veon Bell. You just, like, did not want to believe it was true. I got done doing NFL daily, and after the show, Tom goes, Kobe Bryant just passed away. And I didn't believe it. It was one of those moments where you literally just could not believe. Jamal Adams, life's way too short. My favorite athlete of all time is gone. Here is an NFL player who's saying that his favorite athlete of all time is Kobe Bryant. And, you know, Adams also mentioned, you know, how tough it was for him to playing. Um, you know, goes on to say how tough it was for him to play after the news. There was a really cool picture of Jamal Adams holding up the 2-4. I made it the thumbnail uh, of this video. But Adams also went on to say, a man I watched every single day growing up. Yeah, pretty crazy. Saquon Barkley tweeted out, not Kobe. Kobe Bryant started playing in the NBA in 1996. Saquon Barkley was born in 1997. There is no doubt that Saquon Barkley grew up watching Kobe Bryant. Patrick Mahomes, man, not Kobe. Prayers to his family and his friends. Patrick Mahomes, 2018 MVP. Hey, playing in the Super Bowl. You want to talk about a player who's really just trying to live up to being one of the greatest ever? Patrick Mahomes, I guarantee you, watches Kobe film because if there's one thing Kobe's did, even when he started off great, he just never slowed down. So Patrick, watch Kobe. 
then Baker Mayfield. Whether you want to say what you want about Baker, I really like this tweet. Kobe, you were my idol, period. Mentality through and through, thank you. To your family, I wish you all nothing but the very best. Prayers and thoughts with you. Don't begin to describe what we want from y'all. Love and respect to eight and 24 forever. Mamba mentality, hashtag Mamba. Now, I also found these two quotes, or two quotes, two comments from people who subscribe here to our channel. And uh, again, here at Chat Sports, we like to do the live interactions. We do a lot of shows. But seeing somebody like Billy that said, I never heard anyone say LeBron or Jordan when throwing a piece of paper in the trash. It was always Kobe. Man's a legend. May he rest in peace. Billy, love the comment. And then I'm going to end the show on this because I think this is literally the reason why I made this video. And it's a reason why the NFL players reacted the way they did. From Gorg9027. When a league Kobe didn't even play in pays respect to him, you know he's a legend. Totally agree. Kobe Bryant, an absolute legend. Rest in peace to him, Gigi, and the seven other victims.